Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, I anointed you king over Israel, and I delivered you out of the hand of Saul. If this had been any other king, Nathan would have lost his head. But David was very receptive. Hopefully, should we go astray, we can have a friend like Nathan someday also. Until now, David was blinded, but now he recognized his sin. May we also recognize that sin is deadly and it can keep us from God. Sin had caused David's life to be out of tune with God's direction. Once David recognizes, David had come to the realization that his relationship with God had been hurt because of sin. Isaiah 59 verses 1 through 2 says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that he cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. How many of us really want to hurt our relationship with God? Psalm 51 is such a rich passage. Notice David's plea once again. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. More than anything, David wanted that great relationship restored once again. The word restore means to return to a former condition. It, it has the idea of restoring a car or a piece of furniture. Once the restoration process is complete, the car is literally as good as new. David is basically saying, Lord, I want you to take that which is old again and make it new. David, had, David could remember what it used to be like to be close to God. And based on his plea, that's what he wants again. Some who have gone astray can remember what it used to be like to be close to God. They say stuff like, Oh, I remember what it used to be like to be close to God, but now I have all this guilt. Sin and the guilt of sin can wear down a good life. More than anything, David wanted that great relationship restored once again. Before the restoration process could come to completion, David had to recognize how terrible sin was. Have noticed what he says in Psalm 51 verses 1 through 3. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness. According to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. The first word David uses is transgressions. John wrote, whoever commits sin transgresses against the law, for sin is transgression of the law. To transgress means to go beyond. It kind of reminds me of how me and Timmy get so mad at each other that I say you cross that line and somebody's going to die. <laughs> God has given us boundaries for our own good to keep us in his fortress of safety. Once we cross those boundaries, we're entering into the danger zone where Satan is lurking. The second word he uses is iniquity. Iniquity means to pollute or pervert. Imagine a hot summer day when you're out working in the yard and your wife brings you a glass of ice water. Before she hands it to you, she puts two or three drops of used motor oil in it. You still want it? Of course not. David lived a great life of service to God but polluted his life by sin. His vision had become blinded, and his life marred by the effects of sin. The last word he uses is sin. To sin means to miss the mark. Imagine going to a shooting range only to find out that when the target is brought to you, you've missed the whole target. David had come to a complete sense of total ruin because of sin. Once David recognizes the tune of his song, he makes a plea towards God. David wanted his song back more than anything and did whatever it took 
to have that relationship restored to be in tune with God. Before David could recognize his sin, his heart needed to be pricked. May we have the heart of David and fall to our knees with sorrow when sin enters our life. There are going to be times when we fail our Heavenly Father. But may we have the desire to come back. David saw sin for what it was and realized that he did not like where he was. He said, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Something truly is wrong when sin no longer bothers us. Notice the way that David begins to draw this psalm to a close in Psalm 51, verses 16 and 17. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else I would give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. If you feel that you have a need that we as a church body could help you with, I would like to offer the Lord's invitation for you to come to the front as together we stand and sing. <laughs>